Good morning, everyone. You're quite right, Dan, on all counts. What a gorgeous sunrise. This was sent in from one of our weather watchers, and it's Skipton in North Yorkshire. Another one to show you as well. This one is in Ealing, Elstree, I should say. Again, beautiful, lovely sunrise, and there's lots of them. If you've got any beautiful pictures you want to send weather watchers, please do. We love seeing them. Now, today's forecast is a wet one for some of us. It's already raining in Northern Ireland. And generally speaking, compared to the last few days, we do. We've got an area of low pressure coming in from the Atlantic, already producing a fair bit of rain in Northern Ireland. But if we follow this cloud all the way back into the Atlantic, it's various weather fronts and they're all coming our way. So it's going to remain unsettled, particularly across England and Wales for the next few days. There's even an old tropical storm in conditions but nothing too sinister as well. Now as we head through this morning the rain already in Northern Ireland continues to push eastwards so after a dry and a relatively bright start with those beautiful sunrises you can see where the rain is heading across parts of Northern England, parts of Wales and the Midlands getting in towards Norfolk. South of that in Southern England there's a fair bit of cloud but the further you travel south so the English Channel coastline, the Channel Islands the more likely you are to see some longer spells of sunshine. And north of this rain in Scotland, we've got a weather front, a weak one, sinking south, bringing its rain with it without turning more showery as it does so. In between, there will be some sunshine, but cool, 11 to about 16 in the north. And as we come further south, 16 to 20, maybe 21 in any sunshine around the southeast. Through this evening and overnight, if anything, that weather front sinks a bit further south, taking its cloud and its rain with it. Behind it, there'll be some clear skies. There will still be one or two showers, but under the clear skies, of course, the temperatures will be lower. So a cooler night in the north and humid for some of us, actually, in the south. The overnight lows in London, 15 degrees. Now, tomorrow we start off with all this cloud and rain in southern areas. There'll be pulses of heavier rain as it rattles through and then we'll see it wax and wane through the course of the day. And behind that, as we push further north, we're looking at brighter skies and this takes us all the way into Thursday as well. 14 degrees in Aberdeen to 20 degrees once again as we push down towards the south. For Friday, we'll have the dregs of the weather front, so producing some showers in some eastern areas. But for most of us, it's going to be a drier and a brighter day. There'll be more sunshine, just a few showers as high pressure or a ridge off at least starts to build in with highs of 20. In Salandan, if you're wondering, the weekend, certainly the first half of the weekend for most of us is looking dry. But on Sunday, we might have an area of low pressure coming into the northwest, bringing some rain to Northern Ireland and Western Scotland.